everyone welcome back to another video and this time I'm going to show you what I've done in soul food as you know I haven't done all the lessons in soul food so far um, a lot of it has to do with drawing and detailed painting and stuff and I'm not good at that so I over my advanced love my level of art I do appreciate it, but I can't do that stuff. So I've been doing a lot of the mixed media and collage stuff, the lessons. Um, the ones that I can do, that with the stuff that I have here, I don't have to go out and buy, you know, expensive stuff. Um, so I've done about five lessons, I think, since the last update that I've done. So this one was the first week end of March. I forget the numbers of the lessons, but if you go to my blog, I have all of them on my blog with better pictures and stuff, with the exception of this one. This one I didn't blog. This one was having to do with a tape transfer using your own drawings that you did that you print off a laser printer or a laser copier, and I don't have access to that. But I've done that technique many years ago um, using not the tape, not the packing tape, but I think with the cold laminating sheets, which is basically the same thing. Um, but so instead of using my own drawing, which won't, wouldn't be that good, I decided to use magazine tape, tra tape transfer. So this is a tape transfer right here. And then this one is another one, and it turned out really cool. So I did a little collage with that. And then this is another lesson. Um, the back, the background is actually black craft paint. And then once that dried, I used a green craft paint and then a magenta paint, which is um, a black, uh, magenta acrylic paint by Blitz. And then. Um, she had a link to Graphic Fairy for all the birds, um, copyright free images, and I found one, and I printed it, and I cut off the wing part, so I, then I drew a body of a bird, and then with book pages, um, I tore out a couple pages from a book, which is, um, from a from Goodwill, it was actually a double that I bought, book that I bought at another thrift store. So I decided to use that one, I, but I got a Goodwill as a, for a collage, since it, the, the um, spine was really cracked and so. So I glued that on with blue and seal, and then once that dried, I glued on the um, wing. And then when that dried, I, uh, made some triangles for the head and the tail and then I used um, my Neocolor 2's to color in the stripes on the bird his um, beak and his, some of the feathers in his head and the tail and the black Neo 2 for his legs and then with the sharpie marker I made his um, head, his face, his eyes and you know, that part and he turned out really cute and then the last one, this is actually the last one I worked on, then I have two more. Um, this was another owl collage piece. I took some scrapbook paper, some catalog tape pages, and some other papers and collaged them down using glue and seal, I think. I don't know. And then um, I did a whitewash, but you can still see some of the papers in the background and like I said you can go to my blog for a closer or um, better pictures and then I used stencils in the background and then I um, drew out the owl and painted him with craft paints he turned out kind of cute and then I used the sentiment and it's from Ginger's House Studios, I think. Yeah. And I'll post that link in the description. I'm not a, I'm not a morning person. 
I'm not a night owl, but I can rock 11.30 a.m. like nobody's business. So that's that one. And then I got two more here. This one, I already have a separate video on this because I did this for anything but a card challenge blog for this month's challenge. So you can check out that video for details on that and also my blog. But I do like that tar gel. So that's that one. This one's less than 13. And I only know that because I had to um, look it up when I did the blog post. And then lastly, this is um, another lesson. I forget what it was, but it's in my, on my blog. I did have to buy this um, canvas. Um, the part of the lesson was taking this type of um, stretch canvas that you can get at clearance on Target, at Target, or at Home Goods, and um, or you can find one at Goodwill. I knew, I looked at Home Goods and I looked at Target in their clearance section area where this would be and I found nothing that was cheap enough <laughs> I wanted to pay. But um, one day I went to Goodwill and I found one for $1.99. I should have taken a picture of what it looked like before. Um, I started working on it. I didn't realize I had to do that till I put the first layer on. Then it was too late. Um, but it was a kid's thing. You can see it was pink and green. And it had a butterfly on there. So I took some book papers. Uh, one foot was a kid's book. Some, the rest were like given to me. It was um, old um, dictionary paper and old um, foreign text. And glued it down with glue and seal from Ranger. And then I painted with pink bath paint, surprise, surprise. And a little bit of white. And also I wiped it down to conceal some of it came off. Too much came off. And then, I don't know if you can see, I used Color Shine um, in tinsel. And I sprayed that on there. Like I said, better pictures are on my blog. As the sun's going down in my room. Then I took some scrapbook paper, and this is from uh, Paper Studio. The line is Newsworthy. And I cut out some, traced and cut out some circles, and then I drew the hearts on another piece of paper. And I took some watered down paint craft paint to paint the hearts just to somewhat uh, match the uh, background of the canvas. And then I glued everything with glue and seal. And I traced the outline of the heart with a black big pen. And I did sponged the black craft paint with around the circle. And I also, you know, to the edges of the canvas with the paper and the black craft paint to finish it off. And the only thing I have to do is write whatever I want around the circles. Um, I ran out of ink my white. Um, signal pen so I didn't do that so that's it for now and I'll be back with journal 52 thanks for watching